tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can get basic information about your ec2 instances how you can start and stop your ec2 instances how you can monitor and unmonitor ec2 instances so as usual let's say import the border 3 library and uh, then we need to create a client connections with the ec2 instances so ec2 is equal to the boto 3 dot client ec2 so it will create a connection with the ec2 instances right so let us uh, see the response is equal to the ec2 dot describe underscore instances so it will give the output about the running instances okay now let's print the response and see how many instances are running so here you can see we are getting a value but uh, if we see it very closely we can find out there is only one instance right and the key name is attached with that instance is youtube and the public ip address is 13.126.227.170 right and there are a lot of other information such as the private IP addresses and associated uh, IP address and the EMI attached that means Amazon machine image which is attached with that uh, EC2 instance. So here you can see there is uh, only one EC2 instance which is running and its instance ID and uh, instance type you can see there t2.micro it comes into the free tier so you can write there if you want uh, to monitor it okay so the result is equal to the ec2.monitor underscore instance and now we need to give here the instance id so the instance id which we have already copied oh that mistakenly got uh, the enter now the enter it okay so it started the monitoring this is instance and uh, if you refresh it and come into the monitoring panel and you can see there the cloud watch metrics now it is a start the monitoring it right so if you want to unmonitor it you need to just write there unmonitor i need to restart to unmonitoring it right okay Fine. So, if you want to see um, the detail about the monitoring and the hard monitoring, we need to get the um, status of our instances from the command line itself, from in uh, our Python tool itself. If you see it, so you can register the print and the result. And you see there instance ID and the monitoring state is disabled. Right? Okay, great. now let's uh, now let's uh, start and stop the cc2 instances using boto3 library uh, we can start our ebs and stop our ebs using just the command line in the python so you can write there ec2 dot stop underscore instances instance ids then we need to give the id which instance we want to stop so it's a instance id here you can copy directly and paste it okay so if you see here the instance uh, status has uh, uh, current state has changed to the stopping state right and if you refresh it you can see here it is stopping and the similarly uh, you can also start an instance which has uh, stopped however it is stopping so it will take time to again start the instance but for the sake of uh, tutorial i can show you how you can write this so you see two dot start underscore instances and then instance id so here i have uh, given a start command to the instance but uh, the current state of this instance is into the painting and there are few other uh, commands which you can here use that is the reboot instance right so you can write there the ec2 underscore instances and then you can give their instance id the instance which you want to reboot so it's a ec2 dot reboot underscore instances and then instances id is equal to 
the uh, the ID. We need to copy it here. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. Dot reboot is not available. We need to write there EC2 dot reboot underscore instances. Right. So it will first uh, stop and then they start. However, the instance was already stopping, so it will save some time. So the instance will take some time, right? So after some time, it will once it gets the command and the instance is ready and it will accept that command and it will uh, the instance will reboot automatically, right? Perfect. So the thank you so much for watching this tutorial and the stay tuned for the next ones uh, here as you know I'm covering the pythons and the boto3 aws sdk so in the next tutorial I'll be also covering more uh, about the ec2 instances and the identity access management etc so this is gonna be a full tutorial which will be covering boto3 and python thank you for watching